I'm more than happy to be back to Lithuania and today I stay in Vilnius. And I invited one chef since my whole world is rolling around food. She will show me some nice places here in the capital. Okay, let's go and meet Eva. Hello! Hello, oh Christina! Really nice to see you! Nice to see you! Look what I got for you. You know traditional dessert? Uh, since 14th <laughs> century Lithuanian. So I'm gonna open. It's the fresh honey from my aunt. I did not expect that. <laughs> Cheers! Even the cucumber is from the garden, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I brought it from my hometown. So I can tell. <laughs> yeah, it's fresh. Oh Everything is fresh. So where shall we go first? What would be the first thing to see in Vilnius? Definitely is the bagel shop. Because Vilnius has a very long history with the Jewish culture and Jewish heritage. So you must try the best bagels in town. Okay, let's go. Okay. So we yeah, are in front of the Jewish community shop, bagel shop, where they bake every morning more than a dozen freshly made uh, bagels. Where are we gonna try, I don't know, either plain bagel or the bagel with uh, cream cheese and, uh, and salmon. We have community events, you can go and uh, learn how to make uh, Litvak bagels as well. With so it's more than the bagel shop, it's more like a community yes. thing? Is yes, it? it is community. Okay, okay, okay so let's go and let's see. Go. I just want to say that I'm desperately looking to find the best cinnamon bun, not even in the UK, but globally. <laughs> I will help Christina. We're gonna, um, we can kind of sample at least three more, or at least two more. Okay. That's included, so this is the first one. Today we're not on diet, literally. <laughs> <laughs> carbs, carbs on Car top. Carbs diet. They are not shy with sugar, at uh -huh. that's for sure. Really, really good. But this one is also good. I love poppy seeds. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan. Okay, so where are we now? Sanato de Passage. It's the newest kind of addition to Vilnius food scene. They opened last year and they have farmer circle 100 kilometers from Vilnius. They grow everything on their own. They have a farmer shop. They have a really nice bakery that makes sourdough bread and the buns. And they have a natural wine store, like some sausages. So of course, and then they have two restaurants in okay. there. So it's basically like a food parlor. Basically they produce everything in, the, in, in Lithuania. The, yeah, in Lithuania, in the farmer circle like so 100 kilometers from like they grow cattle they they ferment uh, they try to upcycle and do everything oh in God. a sustainable way they do like Lithuanian you know soya sauce or miso paste from Lithuanian ingredients and with we can see what they do in the in the shop because they have it here represented like okay. lots of chutneys and tomato kind of ketchup okay so I'm curious to see yeah let's go So as we just seen on this blackboard, all these kind of departments are separated and you see some meat section, some wine, some vegetable section. So it's actually a really, really interesting concept. So I'm, I'm really, really curious to see what they actually produce and to try locally grown production. Guess what I'm gonna go for? <laughs> of course, cinnamon bun. It looks quite massive, but since I don't have any smaller option, I will go for one. This has a very good reputation, so I'm dying to test it. Oh my gosh, let's have a look at close, please. That looks so generous, a cinnamon bun. This one is a bun with bee pollen, also quite generous. Blueberry Danish. What's that? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Good yes, yes, cameraman. The time has come. Uh -huh. Actually, very soft. <gasps> Please, let's try. This is the best setting sourdough cinnamon bun. Mm -hmm. It is literally a, a cinnamon dream.
that we just spoke with the owner. Actually, it's such an inspiring and beautiful story. And to be honest, when I visit places like this, I just become more and more inspired to create and just be more proud to be a chef. That's from my country, Argentina. You can go, you can go around and see those golden plates signifying the well Jewish memory, the people that lived in this kind of in this building or another building. Coffee time! Okay, so my impression is very very generous feeling, like really delicious, like looks like uh, good quality and they warm up the bread. The coffee is nice. They have roasters, so backstage coffee and then they have brunches on weekends. And actually the size of the sandwich, we sliced now because we wanted to share, but the massive massive sandwich, like it's impossible to, to leave hungry here, <laughs> that's for mm -hmm. sure. On my own, I wouldn't have discovered all this. Like, even though I'm from Lithuania, we, I don't get a chance to spend that much time in Vilnius. So I'm really thankful. We let you go. I know you're You're busy welcome. process. And we will continue going and exploring the places. But thank yeah. you, thank you so much. You're welcome, you're welcome, Christina. All the best. Achoo, 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 achoo. <laughs> so now we're going to continue journey in this area. It's called Urupis and apparently, as far as I heard, they have their own even currency, they have their own municipality and they're really proud to be from this specific area. So we followed Yava's recommendation and we came here to Pau Pau Turbus, so let's go and see. You know what? It gives me a sense that I'm in a proper greenhouse. It's such a cool, cool place and actually these plants are all real. And our dinner, mashed potato with seasonal mushroom and fermented cucumber. I think it's actually a perfect place to end our day. Uh, this is like a beautiful botanic garden, even though it's just a shopping area for food. Oh my gosh, look at the size. You eat like a month. Thank you for watching and as always, see you next week.